Hi everyone, welcome to learn Golang from scratch. Today I'm sharing one of the most commonly asked Golang interview question, which is printing odd and even number using Go routines in Go. And this question basically checks your understanding of Go routines, channels and synchronization. So uh, basically viewers typically ask like this. Write a Go program to print the numbers from 1 to 10 using two Go routines. And output must be in order. Like it should be in a sequence from 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till 10. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to you subscribe to the channel. Let's start by creating the file name which would be uh, print odd even dot go okay since we want to print odd and even numbers i would make the file name as a print odd even dot go let's start with package main and then funk main okay and now first of all i'll be uh, creating two unbuffered channels okay one with the name say old old channel and another with even channel so let me first write the comment so that it would be easy for all of you to understand Okay, first channel name will be old channel and its data type will essentially be bool which is boolean and uh, its name is uh, even channel which will help to print the even numbers and now will be using weight groups okay. weight group basically to wait for both the go routines so we'll be creating two go routines one to print the odd number one to print the even number okay so let's create an instance of weight group using a sync package so when i write sync here it will automatically be imported okay and now since i want to use the two go routines i'll be adding a two uh, number here and now i'll be you know launching the go routines here first go routine will essentially be printing the odd numbers so let's give it a print odd i will pass in the weight group i'll pass in the odd channel i'll pass in the even channel and second go routine will be printing the even number okay and i'll be passing the same uh, parameters okay i'll create these go routines after we complete writing the main our main function so here basically we are trying to initialize with a odd number and i am calling the wait function so that it waits for both the go routines to finish So now we'll be developing the print old function and even function essentially. Okay, let's write this. And we'll have the parameters uh, like 
weight first we'll be having a weight group since we are passing in weight group as the first parameter from here and next we will be having the old channel okay and it is of a type channel and data type is bool okay so same here essentially okay now first statement i would write is defer wg dot done so basically what it will do is it will mark the go routine as a done when the function returns okay so it will basically decrement the count that we have set here to one so once this task is completed uh, it, it will decrement the count and one uh, so here the count will be one now once uh, we are you know calling the print even function and it also decrements the count by one then what will happen is the count will be zero and then uh, we will be able to execute our um, function completely so there will be no uh, blocking for the main function okay this is how it works okay i'm writing all these comments so that it's easy for you to understand okay now we will be using a for loop so we want to print from 1 to 10 so for odd number odd will odd number will range till 9 so i'll starting from 1 so that because that's a starting point and i'll be going till 9 and also i'll be incrementing i by 2 in every iteration why? Because I want to uh, using a print odd function. I want to print one, three, five, seven, and nine. So this is how it will eventually work. Like first it is one, and then it, we are going to increment by two. Then it will be three. So that's how it is going to work. So what I'm doing here is I'm waiting a signal, waiting for the signal from even go routine okay and now what i would do is i would print the odd number here okay and now what i would do is i will have a you know one conditional check I'll check if the index is equal to 9 I want to close the even channel why because no more even numbers can be printed once uh, uh, you know once we are closing the even channel and then I'll be returning from this function and here I'm going to signal even channel to proceed okay so here we are done with developing the print out function let me also you know, you know format it and now i'll be just writing a one liner comment what this function will be doing Old numbers from 1 to 9 okay so what I would do is essentially copy the same format for a print even function okay and just update a few things even numbers from 2 to 10 okay does that make sense yeah so 
I'll be starting from 2 since we want to print from 1 to 10. So 2 will be the number that will be printed by print even function. And then I'll be printing till 10. Okay. And the increment will remain same. Like it will start from 2 and then increment by 2. 2, it will print 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Okay. Like this. And now here I will wait for a signal from old go routine. Okay. And I'll be printing the even number here. I'll be having a check to check when the index is equal to 10. I'll be you know, closing the old channel. And here I will be directing old channel to proceed. Okay. So this is the print even functionality. Let's look at the complete code once. This is the print old functionality. Okay. And this is the print even functionality. And this is the main function through which we are going to execute all both the coroutines. Okay. Let's try to run this. Uh, program and see what output does it produce uh, let's run it using go run okay and providing the file name which is print dot even dot co oh undefined print even that's okay there might be some spelling mistake okay let's try now yep it has executed successfully if you see this it is printing odd number one even number two odd number three even number four and so on till 10 okay so our, uh, our program is working absolutely fine okay i hope i was able to make you understand the whole you know whole program how it works how every parameter is working how we are if you have any doubts feel free to uh, comment in the comment section below i will get it answered if you like our today's video make sure to give a thumbs up and share the video with your much for listening to me today see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye